Good morning, Danielle. Right now it's unclear if the two crashes are connected, but we do know that that driver is expected to go before a judge later this morning, the driver of the other car that is facing a slew of charges, including OUI. So we'll see a little bit more when we go to court later today. What we do know is that first responders are saying that it is nothing short of miraculous that all 30 passengers, including two infants in car seats, survived. Let's go to that scene and show you once again. Route 24 in Berkeley, 945 Saturday night. The highway shut down as more than 20 ambulances lined it, ready to take the passengers of the school bus to area hospitals. The bus somehow went off the road on its way back to Tiverton from La Salette Shrine in Attleboro. We know from Berkeley police that the bus is owned by First Student, and the passengers are the company's employees and their families. They maintain it flipped three times, but an accident reconstruction team has not yet confirmed that. Either way, first responders say the fact that all survived is amazing. They're lucky, you know. As you know, buses don't have seatbelts, school buses don't have seatbelts, and it's a rough ride. If if it did roll over, that had to be one rough ride. And the driver of the other car has been identified as 27-year-old Christy Gilpatrick of Warren, Rhode Island. Again, she is due in court later today. It's at that time that we could learn if she was involved in this crash at all. Uh, we'll be in court, and we'll bring the very latest uh, later on this morning. For now, I'm Erica Ritchie in the newsroom.